Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you my favorite still books from 2022, so stick around. So we had some great still book releases during the year 2022, and I wanted to take time today to show you what some of my favorites are. There were so many of them, it was really hard for me to narrow these down, so there are quite a bit. But I'm just going to really just quickly go over um, what I like about them and just kind of give you a little bit of an overview. So first up, we have the Mean Girls still book release with the Burn Book artwork. I thought this right here was a really good idea. Um, I like the way that they incorporated the burn book with the still book for the artwork and I think it looks really great. Next up we have the ring. I like the way that they did the VHS tape slip cover. I thought that was a really good idea. It is a cardboard slip on top of a still book um, but I thought it really worked out very well and I really like the way that that looks. Another recent favorite of mine are the two Shop Factory releases, um, Paranorman and Coraline. I really love the detail of the artwork on both of these, and I thought that was really great. I would love to see more of the animation films get this kind of artwork treatment, and I do know that we have some more coming out in February, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. One of the really nice box sets that we got this year <clears throat> was for The Hunger Games comes in this cardboard box but what I like about it is the consistency of the still books um, each still book has a theme with a, a really nice image on the front of each of them with the, um, the um, district symbols on the back which I thought were really great and I love it when they incorporate all the films together in a box set with a theme. I thought that was really well done. Now some really beautiful looking artwork on some still books this year was for the Godfather still books. Um, really nice looking artwork. Um, I do enjoy the Godfather films and we it was nice to get a still book release for the 4Ks and just really nice artwork on all three of these films. So I thought they did a really great job. Now, of course, Lionsgate has been doing a really great job over the past few years with their still book releases. So I'm just going to quickly go over some of these. Um, some of my favorites from the year. We have Angel Heart. What I like about this one is the, the pencil drawing look that the still book has. And then, of course, the colorful um, fire um, slip that goes on top of it. I really liked the Universal Soldier still book. Um, as you remove this, you can actually see the different image of both of these characters, which I thought was great. Another great one was Hell or High Water. Great film, really nice looking still book with the reflection in the sunglasses. Cabin in the Woods had a really nice release. Another great looking slip edition. A really nice edition is the La La Land still book for the 4K release. I love the artwork on this one. The Punisher had a really nice still book release, so I like that one. Hurt Locker had some really nice looking artwork underneath the slip and some really good looking disc art, which I thought was really um, very neat and different. 310 to Yuma also had a nice still book release. I do like the artwork on this one, really great film. Recently we got the um, Reservoir Dogs still book with the bloody ear. I thought that was a really great idea, and as you can see, it has the characters coming off from the blood drip. I thought that was really nice. And then also we had Highlander, another recent release with a really beautiful looking artwork on their still book. I thought all of these were really great, and very happy to have all of these in my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know which of these were your favorite during the year, or maybe some of the other ones that got released that were your favorite, because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.